All right, welcome back to the workshop. Doing a quick update. So I'm, I've never really been a big car stereo guy, but I'm kind of becoming one at a necessity. So the original uh, stereo in the Buick was obviously not working. So I got a custom auto sound replacement, which is kind of neat. It's got the Buick logo right on there. And it has like a vintage look. It kind of looks a lot like the original radio, but um, you know, it's modern. It's got USB input. It's got auxiliary input. It's got an iPod controller. It'll power four speakers. Um, it's the model 630, I think it was. Um, so yeah, it's nice. I just finished bench testing it. Um, I also got the custom auto sound speaker for the dashboard speaker. Um, so I wired this up to the radio and it, it sounded pretty good. Um, it is made for the Buick, but I did have to do a little modification. So the mounting bolts, it's got some universal mounting tabs. These are not used for mine. I had to bend them out of the way. And then the, this is like a, this is the speaker grill. It's aluminum and it mounts in the dash and, um, it has studs that the original speaker fit over, but this speaker's got like a thicker, uh, like a gasket or something. And the original studs were too short. So I found some bolts that matched the thread that worked, cut the heads off, made my own studs. Um, <clears throat> so here's the original speaker. After like 60 years of living under the dashboard in the sun, you can see it is ready to retire. Like this, the screen mesh is just like, deteriorating you look at it too long it'll rip and then of course the speaker cone you know the tweeter is all deteriorated the cone fiber is actually nope yeah it's coming apart so obviously that's no good so i got one of these uh i've got the uh the interior is coming out i'm gonna send the dash out because as you can see, the dash is cracked, and not only is it cracked, it is very dry. Um, I had trouble getting it out. I mean, taking it out is easy. The directions in the manual just say, remove six screws, pull the dash backwards. So there's screws underneath that hold it down, and then it clips into place. So you got these that clip up by the windshield, and you got these that clip in the front of the dashboard. They just kind of pop into place. Um, everything was like, it was really tight. Obviously it's all like, you know, rusted in there. Um, and as I'm trying to pull it out, I just keep hearing the vinyl like cracking and cracking and I can't get a good grip on it. So what I ended up doing was I just, I came around here. This is where that metal stud goes in. And I just kind of worked it gradually with a plastic pry bar back and forth on both sides, wiggled it out and it came free. And I was able to get the speaker out. I started taking the back seat out. I'll be getting at that speaker next. <clears throat> and then um, I'm going to be getting a small Pioneer amp, like a 200 watt. And I've got an old speaker box. I'm going to see if I can get this to fit somewhere in the under the seat or in the trunk. Um, yeah, so that's coming along. That's exciting. More updates to come. Thanks, everybody.